So, Dr. Jitesh? Yes, yes. We are live now? Yes, yes, we can start, please. Thank you. Okay, thank you. So, good afternoon, everyone. And yes, today we are celebrating Teachers' Day. So, first of all, Pranam, thank you, each and every teacher of my life and everyone's life, I guess. Because, uh, because of them, we are here. Whatever the position we are right now, it's all because of them. So, thank you, each and everyone uh, who have been part of my life. And uh, this is very important that uh, we are having teacher in our life because teacher is really greater than our mother and father even even other relatives also so we really need teacher because we really need guide when we have difficulties in our life so we can ask them some difficulties so it's not like that they will give you the solution, but they will give you the way at least. They will, they will guide you. They will give you the uh, right path. And that is very important. So every time if we go to our guru or teacher, uh, it's not like that he will give us the solution, but the right path is always important. So today, as we are celebrating the Teachers' Day, and uh, it's been honor to everyone, and for me also, even to be the part of this session, and having a, such a guru in my life, uh, he is my father, Dr. Amar Sihanikam, sir. So he will be with us in short time. So before that, uh, I would like to present uh, you some PPT. So I'll share the screen. So, first of all, happy Teacher's Day to our God, our Guru, Dr. Jitesh, is it visible? Yes, all good, all good. Please continue. Okay, fine. Thank you. So, first of all, happy Teacher's Day and thank you to our Guru, our God, the noble researcher. Dr. Samuel Hanneman and because of him we are here because of him Dr. Nikam is here and I'll say like in COVID-19 also many of the patients many of the people got treated with homeopathy and they got the wonderful results so that's why today we are having the topic of treating the COVID-19 patients with homeopathy. So I would like to share this screen with my father, Dr. Amar Siya Nikam, sir. Very good afternoon for everyone. Good afternoon, sir. Happy Teacher's Day, sir. Thank you. Same to you. Same to everyone. So, today we are having a very great day. We are remembering our master, our guru, our teacher, our God, Dr. Salami Rahima. We had discovered this wonderful science. With extreme exciting results. With science 
This is having power that it can produce very fastest effect after giving the proper medication. We call Dr. Hyman call it rapid gentle and permanent restoration. How these things are happening in the patient? We learn we read more time organ and but we are not following this instruction. You have to do research work along with this our philosophical thought of our guru. Every homeopath should try to match with the upcoming future difficulties. For example, COVID is one of the biggest point. Nobody had experience how to fight with the COVID. Nobody had imagined how to control the COVID. We are having great medicines to control not only COVID. In upcoming future, more diseases. COVID is a very new for us. That's why the entire world is fearful, anxious, and confused. All the physicians, allopathic physicians, Ayurvedic physicians, homeopath are trying their best, but still the mortality rate is very high. It is not like that the single medicine is going to work, for example, arsenic. No, never. Everybody had experience about the arsenic. Everybody had experience about the camphor. Everybody has experience about the sepia. So, this is not so easy. This virus is a very intelligent virus. Its power is very tremendous. How he enters in the body is really... We cannot believe it. Virus is spreading house to house home to home and from bigger society, high grade peoples, medium grade people and people who are living in the hut, Jafarapati. All the grades of the society is suffering to COVID never excuse whether the patient is prime minister or president or big politician, excellent actor, great actor. No, he never excuse anyone. He tries to do the attack on the human society very intelligently. How he is changing his character. We cannot catch a single character, pathological character. Every time the patients come with, sometimes with headache, sometimes with nausea, sometimes with vomiting, sometimes with chills, Sometimes it's a febrile condition, there is only loose motion, and so many things. So the changing 
of his nature is a really headache for everyone that's why we are not going to get vaccine immediately because still it is long way to go still it is long way to go still there is hopes but when the vaccine is going to administered on the society it has to pass all the qualities anyway many people are wishing you happy teachers day wonderful thing is that we try to give preventive doses to our corona to our society to our people and it works very nicely it shows good immune response and most of the patients are satisfied even mentally so now the people are ready to fight with covid but the most dangerous attacking thing is that death so we are observing our nearer people our relatives are dying with covid and really the entire medical field is become helpless hopeless but still we have to fight still we have to conquer over this covid and how to fight with the covid is very interesting today i would like to show you some cases in those cases the presentation of symptoms is different and the remedies are also different even even complaints are different the patients are husband and wife suffering from covid along with pneumonia i wish before starting the case doctors are wishing you before starting this seminar i would like to wish happy teacher day to everyone and i respect the great teachers of the world and even the small teachers of the world that who are giving knowledge to our society and our people so i am most thankful with this old teachers all teachers of all sorts of faculties thank you very much let us see this exciting case of covid so thank you so much sir and yes before we start the case yes we'll have some introduction about the covid we'll start with that
So, Corona and homeopathy treating various COVID-19 cases on Dr. Amar Sienikam. As the pandemic of COVID-19 expanding globally, the media and internet is flooded with variety of opinion on cure and prophylaxis. In homeopathic community, also huge difference of opinions is also observed and which has created much confusion. So before discussing SIR's approach on COVID-19, it's important to understand that dealing with epidemic is not at all new for Aditya Homeopathic Hospital. Yes, we had been uh, treated so many patients of swine flu, even though still uh, so many patients are coming to us of uh, swine flu and COVID-19 and other pandemic also. Not only this, yesterday we had shown a pneumonia case in our workshop batch. We had online sessions yesterday. Every Friday we have online sessions for the workshop students. So since last 25 years of Aditya Homeopathic Hospital, we routinely and successfully tackled many epidemics with same standardized approach. The approach is always same. Uh, we'll not go into this. Everyone knows nowadays pathophysiology of COVID-19, how the virus enters in body and how it replicates, then how the RNA has been separated and there are multiple viruses as formed. Then there is response from our immune system, how the T lymphocytes work, how the cytokines releases and the inflammation happens. So everyone knows about the pathology, but here we are, the main part is our homeopathic practice. Yes, this is the last stage of COVID-19. This, we can see the opacities in the X-rays or in HRCTs. The pulmonary, pulmonary edema will be there. So we'll go further. I'll not go in details into it. Yes, we know the symptoms also. There will be your dry cough, shortness of breath, fever, sore throat, headache, body ache, fatigue, diarrhea, runny or stuffy nose sometimes. And then there are investigations to be done. Uh, first is viral test. There is rapid antigen test. This will give the results within uh, half an hour to one hour. Then RT-CPR is very important test. And then true net test. The true net test is not done usually. It is very rarely uh, done. And then the antibodies test. Antibodies test we usually do after seven days, after one week. This is not a proper test antibody. So these viral tests are important, first of all. And then in some cases, if we think uh, the O2 saturation level is going down, then we can do the X-ray or HRCT also. Yes, later on there are in advanced form, like we can see the oxidase. Then we have the advanced test also, that is the D-dimer, LDH, interleukin and serum ferritin. So what can be done through homeopathy? What we can do, how we can treat this COVID-19 through homeopathy? So basic thing is in such viral epidemics, we had already seen that only few of the family members were affected and others were not even when they were together. Also those who, those who were affected, some of them recovered early and some could not. So this makes us understand that immunity plays 
very important role in such viral epidemics. So this is very basic. Then the principles of homeopathy works on maintaining the immunity of individual. That's why we had seen the immunity plays very, very, very important part in COVID-19 also. And the principle he is works on mainly on maintaining the immunity of that individual. So it doesn't treat the virus, but the person. The natural and gentle way of homeopathic healing helps the individual to recover his health without any side effects or harm. Now we have seen many of the genus epidemicus, uh, many have termed many medicines uh, as a genus epidemicus. So what is the failure of this genus epidemicus? So, and why it is? As we see around, many homepaths tried their best to find out the genus epidemicus, like arsenic, everyone knows, and camphora, bryonia, and others are. But they had given it as a prophylaxis and also as a treatment to the COVID-19 patients. So these medicines have been used tremendously and not only as a prophylaxis, uh, many of them are given as a treatment also. But they were insufficient in treating the cases. We know the results. The haphazard use of this specific remedies was seen everywhere, which was termed as a genus epidemicus. Even after this medication, number of patients tested COVID-19 positive. Yes. This was just a mess and complete failure due to the inappropriate use of homeopathic medicine without following the fundamental principles of homeopathy. Yes, in last prophylactic lecture, we had seen that to find out the genus epidemicus, we really consider a lot of patient and then then and then only like around 200 300 patients if we had seen and then and then only we can come to the conclusion that yes this medicines works very efficiently in covid 19 still there will be question to it is like uh, really genus epidemicus but what we are following Likewise, sir has uh, told you that he has treated hundreds of patients through this homeopathy and still we have not termed any medicine as a genus epidemicus medicine. So this is our prophylactic chart and we had seen in the prophylactic lecture that how we differentiated this into thermal levels, into thirst and taste and sleep also. So I'll request sir to please explain about this chart. This is very easy chart to understand. We give importance to some essential points here. First thing is that we try to do the thermal differentiation, like that, chili towards chili, hot towards hot, and with thermal. In the thirsty, there are two kinds of Remedies, thirsty and thirstless. Aconite, antium tart, arsenic. These are thirsty remedies. Thirstless remedies, antium tart, acid falls, belladonna, epassel, calibicrome, and so many others. In the hot chart, 
we I can give importance to this thirsty and thirstless group. Towards heart and heart patient, aluminum sefa, antim crude, brine, cocos cacti, calisulf. These are heart remedies for the thirsty patient. And thirstless patient, Chelidonium, Drosera, Gelsimium, Mephitis, Pulse, and Spongia. In the ambithermal, they are sensitive to hot and cold. Again, we make two sections, thirsty and thirstless. For example, Mokkor, Imaev, Markaidrab, Moxfall is a thirsty. And lycopodium is thirstless. We also give importance to the test. Basically, in COVID, more and more patients are having lack of test symptoms. Sometimes they feel more salty, bitter, and sometimes they feel tasteless. But while prescribing the acute remedy, we should give respect to the test. So four types of tests are given, which are very gentle, sour, sweet, salty, and spicy. I cannot mention here bitter, pungent, and other tests. These four tests are the basic test, which is required for the acute totality. Then again we turn towards the sleep. The sleep is also very important for the ill patient. There are variations of sleep and we can reach to the, the exact remedy by exact similar. For example, comatose sleep. Fever, patient sleep, like a deep sleep. It is extreme deep. Because of that, the sleep is having comatose sleep. Antim tart, belladonna, nux moscheta, opium. Extreme sleep. There is a deep sleep in here. Antim tart, adentum nitricum, belladonna, carbovage, nux moscheta, belladonna, valvum, opium is there. Restlessness. Arsenic, belladonna. Carbovich, China, Lyco, and Rustox also. Restless sleep. And for sleeplessness, Argentum nitricum, Arsenic carbon, Baradana, Hippasub, Kalika, Naxvamika, Opium, and Rustox. This is a very wonderful thing. The opium is having comatose sleep also, deep sleep also, and sleeplessness also. Like Nux Moscheta, it is more deep sleep is having. The sleep is so deep that patients are not able to awake quickly where to shake their body in the opium the same thing happens patients enjoy the sleep they are having deep sleep sometimes very comatous sleep but what the sleep is indicating that this is the character. 
So you should go to look at the acute presentation of the case. In this thing, there is a restless sleep also, and sleeplessness also, with deep sleep and comatose. So it looks like strange, but it will give you definitely good results. So try to use these charts and I am experiencing lot of remedies are also new remedies coming in this chart. For example, chamomilla is also coming in this chart. Calibacrom is also there. So, just go through this chart and you will reach to the exact same area. So the first thing, thermal, second thirst, third sleep and desire aversion. These are the physiological symptoms which are very essential to find out the correct remedy. Then along with all these physiological symptoms, this is a very wonderful thing, how homeopathy works. We give respect to the physiological symptoms, then only you will come to the correct remedy. So along with physiology, you have to take the pathological symptoms, like cough, expectoration, inflammation, like that. You have to add this in the pathological section. And then you have to observe the modalities, discharges. These are very important things, discharges and modalities. And then if you are able to pursue the, the acute mental state, with anxiety, anxious, fearful, confusion, panic patients, anticipation, that all the symptoms are required. But don't forget this physiological chart which can lead you towards the correct remedy. So, first thing, this physiological chart, second thing, pathological symptoms, third thing, modalities, desire aversions, fourth, characters, discharges, characters, and fifth, mental. If you are going to collect all this data, you will really get happy and if you are applying this method in the acute epidemic pandemic situation it gives very wonderful results you cannot imagine again I would like to show this chart once again So this chart is really so accurate that it covers most of the severe pathology of COVID. So each and every drug is having a manifestation of COVID symptoms. This is the wonder of this chart. So don't forget this chart and now I would like to present you how to tackle, how to face, how to give
service to our patient and how to cure them. Just try to see these two cases. Thank you so much, sir. And as sir has mentioned, yes, this is very useful, very useful chat. But this can be used in very if you have a short time and uh, the patient is like uh, in hurry and if you have very short time to take the case then then and then only you can use this chart or else if you have a good time to take proper case then proper case will be preferable okay and you can follow you can refer this chart but it is not the ultimatum so do consider this chart while treating the patient and also sir has mentioned there are some few medicines also which can cover covid 19 pathology for example and, pyrogen and jamovila yes so and yes before going to the case points to be remember that there is no any shortcut to precise individualization in COVID-19 cases. Yes, even though sir had given you the chart, still there is, <laughs> this is not the shortcut way. Sir, never follow the shortcuts. This is just for the reference. Then no single remedy can be curative to all. So as you had seen in the chart also, and if you had seen the cases of COVID-19, so sir had given uh, multiple remedies means multiple means single remedy for individual patient but there are total number of around 25 to 30 medicines are there which has been used for covid 19 also in each of the covid 19 infected cases we have to consider the characteristics totality as we are doing in our routine cases so as we treat our uh, cases not not about the covid but the other cases as we are treating same way we can treat the covid 19 patients okay then particular attention should be given to peculiar symptoms while forming the totality yeah this is very important the particular attention should always be given to the peculiar symptoms when you are forming a totality okay so this points to be remembered while treating a COVID-19 patient with homeopathic treatment. So we'll go towards the case. So as we told you, we'll show you some cases. So there are two cases right now and we will start with the first case. This is a COVID positive case. This is a case of an obese male aged 53 years and he was diagnosed with hypertension since 10, 10 years and had a history of bronchitis since two years. Presently, he came with the complaint of fever with the temperature of 102.7 degree Fahrenheit and cuff. He was diagnosed COVID positive. So you can see there is comorbidity is present. Patient is already hypertense and having the history of bronchitis also. So this is a very critical case and usually these kinds of patients get admitted and they start the other line of treatment but here we had treated such kind of cases and that's why we are showing this case to you so the chief complaints are fever in the evening temperature 102.7 fahrenheit Fever with mild chills, heat more on throat region, sweating started after taking crocin, 
wanted to lie down doesn't feel like to work thirsty patient and appetite is good so these are the main complaints and yes we usually see this kinds of complaints in the patient fever with mild chills heat more on throat region sweating wanted to lie down thirsty gurps since one and half years on and off yes as we had seen he is already having history of bronchitis so he is having gurp since one and half years and this has been increased recently so as he has been affected with covid 19 the gurp has been increased gurp with scanty whitish expectoration obstructed gurp lying aggravation lying on back aggravation at night ambulation sitting erect so physical generals physical generals appetite normal can tolerate hunger desire sweet milk products oily food aversion bitter milk thirst thirsty 4 to 5 liters per day perspiration profuse on axilla and thighs sour smell with mild yellowish stain hot sweat sweating over the part he lie down sleep sound refreshing sleep prefer to lie more on right side required covering so we asked about his mind in childhood patient was living in joint family and being the elder son he was very much pampered he was weak in studies and interested more in games by nature he was mild and always be in his own world since childhood he was obese so many times his friends used to bully bully him but he never used to react he was not very close to his father because of his strict and taunting nature and also due to the business he was unable to visit home often uh sorry to sorry to disturb uh okay. the voice the voice got low earlier it was better yes dr jitesh now now the sound is better the the sound was less earlier okay 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 <laughs> sorry uh yes now uh now we'll go forward as uh, it's been clear and it's been shown to everyone so they can read uh also in mind the patient is having straight forward nature and having temper issues he gets angry if things don't happen according to him he is very uh, he is very much work oriented and prefers all the work to be done perfectly he is always strict and harsh towards his juniors he is having stubborn personality doesn't agree easily with others but still is very sensitive and helpful towards people in need he is a very caring person who cares a lot about his family so this was his history and we had seen the patient as having this complaints
you had seen all the case in detail so this is what we do with every case we have to consider all the parameters and follow the classical method which is the right way to treat with homeopathy so you have the case history with you as you had seen on the, your screen now we'll go towards the totality but sir is expecting totality from all of you so uh, please write down the totality and dr jitesh and dr uh, uh, dr jitesh and dr rahul or someone will be there if they are then uh, yes the yes totality. we will check we will check yes okay yes.
डॉक्टर मनीष वॉट इज द थर्मल हेलो हाँ यस डॉक्टर जितेश यस वी वी हैव ऑलरेडी गॉट सम टोटलिटी ओके फाइन गुड डॉक्टर विशाल अकॉर्डिंग टू अब परफॉर्म ही कंसीडर्ड हॉट पेशेंट इट वाज टुवर्ड्स चिली राइट द थर्मल या ओके सो ही कंसीडर्ड इट रॉंग एस अ हॉट पेशेंट बट स्टिल ही ही सेज थर्स्टी कंट्रडिक्शन इंटोलरेंट ऑफ फेयर ऑ Cuff aggravation lying down. Okay. Doctor Apanna totality fever with chills cuff. Okay. Doctor Urmila cuff with whitish expectoration desire sweet fear of dark fear uh, fever aggravation evening cuff ag aggravation lying down and sitting erect thirsty thermally chilly intolerance of contradiction obstinate and careful. Okay. Doctor Prasad uh, chilly lying aggravation back. Night aggravation, fear of dark, sweets desire, thirsty, fever in evening, perspiration, thighs, arsenic, nuxomica, sepia. Okay, that's it. Okay, fine. So, uh, yeah, okay. Uh, anyone from YouTube? Yes. Uh, one second. I'll just check. Okay. Uh, Doctor Aparna has given again the totality: fever with chills, cough, aggravation, night, lying on back, desire sweets, thirsty, perfectionist, family-oriented, thermal towards chilly, remedy Kali Carb thirty. Okay. Nice. Nice. Doctor Urmila is suggesting after total her totality arsenic alp thirty. Ah. Huh. uh dr kazi has suggesting chilly thirsty sleeping on the right side cuff scanty whitish whitish expectoration obstructive okay mm hmm go ahead one second i'm checking with the youtube
डॉक्टर दीप्ति एस एसिस्टिंग फीवर इवनिंग हीट ऑन थ्रोट ऑब्सट्रक्टेड कफ कफ ऑन लाइंग ऑन बैक perspiration on lying down part thirsty desire sweet doctor deepthi is insisting fever evening heat on throat obstructed cough cough on lying on back perspiration on lying down part thirst uh, doctor jitesh yo speaker yes yes <laughs> yes yes it actually the youtube got open so uh, <laughs> perspiration on lie down thirsty desire sweet straight forward nature work oriented family sensitive helpful stubborn thermals Towards Tilly Kali Kap thirty. Right. Kap Kali Kap. Doctor Hiten is suggesting remedy phosphorus. The doctor Rajesh. Uh, patient thirsty, hot, fear of dark, temperature high. Familial remedies: Antim Crude, DD is Kali Salve. Antim Crude is hot remedy. Yes. Uh, Sir, there are a lot of suggestions in the YouTube as well. Kindly. Yes, sir, I'm reading it. By Dr. Ranjit Pathak, fever, evening aggravation, fever with chills, thirsty during fever, dull during fever, cough aggravation, uh, at night, sitting erect, amelioration, dominating, anger easily, workaholic, benevolence, thermal chilly. Priya, Dr. Priya, uh, towards chilly. Cough aggravation, lying on back, cough sitting, erect ambulation, fever evening, perspiration profuse. Doctor Megha Patel, fever in evening, cough aggravation, lying, cough ambulation, sitting erect, sweet desire, obese, chilly, thirsty, family oriented, particular in work, angry, kali cough thirty. Doctor Sarika, thirsty, hot, cough expectoration, uh, white perspiration, yellow staining, desire sweet, mind hard for inferior. Doctor Priya suggesting Antim Tart thirty. Doctor Nazma Kalika. Doctor Shiv Shankar Maurya. Asnik Alp. Doctor Jivan Kali Bai. Ayub Khan uh, Kalika thirty. Deepa Bhalgat Asnik Album thirty. Doctor Pallavi. Uh, yes. Doctor Pallavi is fever in evening. Sweet desire. Chilly. Family oriented. Perfectionist. Night aggravation. Lying aggravation. Kali hours. डॉक्टर हेतल मेहता मेहता लाइकोपोडियम अनिकेत कुलकर्णी फास्फोरस डॉक्टर अश्वनी पाटिल फास्फोरस थर्टी थर्स्टी चिली वाइट एक्सपेटोरेशन इवनिंग फीवर स्लीप पोजीशन राइट साइड परफेक्शनिस्ट डॉक्टर रीचा रायकर कफ एम्बुलेशन सिटिंग इरेक्ट फीवर इवनिंग एग्रेवेशन डिजायर स्वीट इनटॉलरेंस कॉन्ट्राडिक्शन फैमिली ओरिएंटेड काली कर्फ थर्टी यस सर वेरी गुड Everybody is doing very great efforts. Spent it, sir. And they are trying their best. It is a very interesting remedy. I think everybody has tried. to select good totality and i congratulations to them some doctors are suggest remedy why they are so eager i don't know still you have to understand the case first then you go to the remedy but some excellence messages coming Richard Riker had taken. Yes, so many people are doing great efforts to select exact minimum. Just try to write down the our totality. first thing fever oh write down the totality fever towards evening and night heat with chills office perspiration snoring 
history of bronchitis easy discipline family oriented and towards chitti so what is the remedy for this patient i am requesting to all doctors who are attending this webinar should give reply as quick as possible i would like to show you the follow up follow so you are seeing the video put the sign okay got it what is the remedy dr rajni acha kali ka phosphorus kali ka asani kalva very nice ashwini patil Yes, try to suggest the remedy is there. From YouTube also. Sir, uh, many people suggesting lycopodium as well. Okay. Our students are taking great efforts. Yes. You see the. Yes. Try to select the proper remedy. Doctor Prasad, Asli Kalwa. So we are getting Kali Rs. Antim tart. Most of the remedies are Kaliyas antim tart. 
Somebody has suggested lycophodium. Can we show the reports? Show the reports. Show them. The cities are good. Just like the Sangam. This is the chest x ray of our patient. Now you can see there is no pneumonia marking is there. Chest x ray is totally normal. So we're getting pulsatilla. Okay. Suggestion. So there is a suggestion in Kali Karb as a the person was not having a good relation with father. Okay. Anyone who would like to? So now look at the remedy. Again, I would like to show you totality chart. You are towards evening night, heat with chills, profuse process, snoring, bronchitis. History of bronchitis. Busy, discipline, family oriented towards Chile. And the remedy's name is Kali Bike Room. Are you listening? Hello. Yes, sir. Anybody had given the answer of Kali Vikram? Hello. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. There is one uh, one doctor who has given the reply of uh, Kali Vikram. That is Dr. Jeevan Patare. Yes, I must congratulate him. So, in homeopathy, there are different opinions, and the people selecting their remedy as per their study practice, as per their experience. As for their own thoughts, that's why everybody's remedy is not matching with the proper totality. And the Kali Kaap patients are very close, but he had a not good relation with father at childhood. The present state. He is taking care of father, so he is more family oriented, more disciplined, more caring person and uh, chills is more prominent. 
So there is heat which is profuse phosphorylation during history of bronchitis, busy person, disciplined, family oriented, and towards chili. So simply calibacrom is coming up. If you try to understand the case of the patient's cough is very scanty whitish expectoration. The patient is having scanty and white expectoration. So there is a doubt. Uh, Kali Beach is a thirstless remedy by Dr. Vijay, but the patient is thirsty. Yeah, Kali Bikram is a thirsty patient. If you are going to see the Kent repertory, you will get it. Kent repertory. Kent repertory. See the cuff, scanty expectoration obstructed cuff, difficult cuff. If you are going to open the chapter, chapter of stomach, thirst, in the thirsty remedies, Kali Bikram is given two marks. Scanty discharges is the character of Kali Bikram. with obstructed cuff, dry cuff. Okay. Now we would like to go towards the second case. So, this is the second case, and this is his wife that patient's wife, which I've seen in the first case. So both husband and wife got affected. So this is the case of female who is homeopathic doctor and she is a wife of our corona patient who is diagnosed COVID positive with pneumonia, who is doing help and service to our corona patient. She was get affected with corona positive and pneumonia. She has diagnosed with fibroid uterus with left ovarian cyst. The chief complaints are cuff with expectoration since eight days, onset sudden, whitish, thick, scanty expectoration, sensation as if cuff is obstructed in throat, dryness of mouth, dry cuff, accumulation of tenacious mucus in throat. So I hope. You are writing down the important points. I'll read it again. 
cuff with expectoration since 8 days onset sudden whitish thick scanty expectoration sensation as if cuff is obstructed in throat dryness of mouth dry cuff accumulation of tenacious mucus in throat so these are the chief complaints then also burning heat in the mouth accompanied by fit of suffocation respiration short choking sensation history of bronchitis <coughs> so also she is having burning heat in mouth accompanied by fit of suffocation respiration short choking sensation and history of bronchitis then the loose motion since 8 days watery stools with colicky pain low grade fever with weakness and chills started with chills covering desire want to lie down during fever because of severe weakness okay so is also having loose motion then then low grade fever is also there family history mother cholecystectomy done duodenal ulcer prolapse of the uterus physical generals appetite normal cannot tolerate hunger desire tomato sar and fruits aversion to the sweet milk ghee oily food food aggravation basin and oily food head headache right sided bursting hammering pain jerking and pendulum like movement <clears throat> in eyes cooling sensation with bursting pain ears bursting sensation of pressure from inside crackling sound during swallowing sensation as if everything will come out from ears mouth halitosis since 3 to 4 months tongue white coated thirst half to one almost one per liter per day short quantity long intervals and thirstless teeth history of toothache bowel satisfactory bladder scanty urination back mild pain in cervical and lumbar region extremities numbness of uh, numbness mostly in fingers and toes perspiration scanty on neck and axilla hot sweat sleep disturbed since one year wakes up at 2:30 am lies mostly on back covering required up to chest habit of pillow between the legs dreams of dead people and black animals especially cats due to which startles during sleep and cannot speak about his mind her mind sorry since childhood patient was very studious and mild in nature she is very emotional and sensitive person she always prefers to be with people around her she is having fear of animals and insects she was having a shy personality due to which she doesn't mix easily patient was very close with her maternal aunt who died due to paralysis 
Since then, patient developed fear of death. Now, she is always having stress about her daughters and her studies. Always worried about her husband's health. She feels that she always does good for other, but nobody thinks about her and cheat her. She never express out her anger, but feels sad. She is very irritable and doesn't believe easily, not even on doctor. She has fearful personality. Okay, so we have the physical generals and the mentals also. Thermally, she is ambithermal. So I hope you jot down all the important points and uh, we are waiting for the totality from your side so that we can proceed further. We, it's al already 4.30 and we have 10-15 minutes more. So if you want to finish it fast, then yes, we are we require totality from your side. So, Dr. Jitesh, please ask them the totality. Yes, uh, I would request everyone to please share the totality. Uh, Dr. Akshay Kate is asking Ignatia. What? <laughs> Ignatia. The uh, remedy. We are asking about the totality, not the <laughs> remedy right now. So guys, please make it faster. If you want uh, to see it again, then yes, I'll show you again some of the important things. Okay. So we have got uh, the totality by Dr. Aparna, cuff, white, thick, burning, heat in mouth, choking sensation, watery stool, heat with chills, weakness, desire, sour, thirstless, dreams of black cat, suppressed emotion, anxiety, timid, remedy, pulsatilla 30. By Dr. Vishal Borate, uh, totality, frightened easily, dreams of dead body, suspicious, hunger, aggravation, mucus, tenacious, sticks to throat, bursting, pain in general, hot perspiration, mouth dryness with thick white coating. By okay. doctor, by doctor, uh, 
सुबोध जैन सजेस्टिंग पल्सर टेलर डॉक्टर विनायक कवरिंग डिजायर फॉर डॉक्टर आशुतोष टिमिड एंजाइटी फॉर एंजाइटी ऑफ फैमिली मेंबर फियर ऑफ एनिमल सस्पिशियस ऑल डिस्चार्ज कैंटी वीकनेस फीवर हंगर इंटॉलेशन अवर्जन टू स्वीट टंग व्हाइट कोटेड थर्सलेस डॉक्टर आशुतोष हैज सजेस्टिंग द रेमेडी कालीकार uh then doctor saab uh, bronchitis aggravation 2 am fear of Im- animal insect covering desire aversion sweet scanty doctor sonali delusion of neglecting her duty grief losing the blood bonds doctor priti rani bovista doctor pallavi scanty perspiration uh she deleted the message okay <laughs> so till now the totality is which have been suggested Uh, Doctor Deepthi, cough with white scanty, dryness of mouth, burning heat on mouth, bronchitis, suffocation, scanty, hot perspiration, thirstless, ambithermal, fearful, anxious, anger suppressed, irritable. Very good. <clears throat> That is very good. Very nice response. I'll try to find out the remedy. Try to go towards the chart. A power totality. so by dr ranjit patak ambithermal cough expectoration scanty dryness suffocated feeling sleep disturbed thirstless desire sar right sided headache bursting pain fearfully grief death of loved one dr aniket kulkarni cough with whitey expectoration dryness ambithermal kali arts very good dr hiten bad order of mouth is very very important Doctor Sonali is scanty discharge, delusion, neglected her duty, grief of losing dear ones, anxiety about her relatives, pulsatile and atrium restox. Doctor Pallavi scanty perspiration, obstructed feeling, anticipatory anxiety, burning heat in mouth, right sided headache, sepia. Doctor Jivan Padare uh, dry cough, tongue white coated, antim tart. डॉक्टर साधना एम्बिथर्मल थर्सलेस फेयरफुल ड्रीम्स ऑफ डेड सडन ऑन सेट ऑफ कंप्लेन ड्राइस कैंटी थिक वाइट एक्सपेक्टेशन हिस्ट्री बंकाइटिस यूट्रीन फाइब्रॉइड डेक हेलो या या सर डॉक्टर मनोरंजन सस्पिशियस डॉक्टर टेनेशियस Mucus, ignisha, and has some us. Very good. Doctor Nilam. Doctor Nilam. Yes, sir. Everybody is trying to give an answer as per their knowledge, and. It is taking more efforts. Very wonderful. Everybody at on the chart. Rajitesh. Hello. Yes, sir. Everybody at got the chart of Thermal. Uh, I hope everyone has it. Corona chart. So I don't know how many people have it or ha- uh, have been saved the the last webinar in which we s- shared the chart. Uh, I I request Dr. Manish to open up so that they can see it again. Let's try to see the chart once again. Corona chart. 
తర్వాత సో డాక్టర్ మేఘా పాటిల్ కఫ్ విత్ స్కాంటీ ఎక్స్పెక్టరేషన్ టెనిషియస్ మ్యూకస్ డ్రైనెస్ ఆఫ్ మౌత్ వాటరీ స్టూల్స్ సివియర్ వీక్నెస్ డిజైర్ టొమాటో థర్స్ట్లెస్ ఫియర్ ఆఫ్ డెత్ ఫియర్ఫుల్ పర్సనాలిటీ అంబి థర్మల్ సడన్ ఆన్సెట్ ఎకోనైట్ ది చార్ట్ ఇస్ వెరీ ఇంపార్టెంట్ so by dr soni cough sudden scanty thick whitish discharge suffocation short choking respiration dryness of mouth very timid can't express anger fearful headache right sided loose motion watery colic suppressed emotion very nice i am i must appreciate their efforts yes wonderful answers are there yes dr jitesh anyone dr soni so dr dipraj mallik has suggested spongia oh spongia is hot look at that by dr sarika cuff scanty tenacious tongue white coated dreams dead cat fearful suppressed anger ambithermal thirstless fibroid death loved ones so somebody is assisting sp merk core Yes, very nice. Dr. Achana Sapte, Pulsatila, Soni Sankar, Pulsatila, Sadhana Bagul, Ambithermal, Thirstless. Chart has only Lycopodium. Very good. Fantastic. that's it sir okay it's very interesting really you would would like to add in totality dr jitesh sir uh somebody suggesting mercor and pyrogenum due to bad order dr monica mundra suggesting pulsatilla Dr Neelam dry cough tenacious fever with chills heat with perspiration bursting hammering headache pulling sensation in eyes desire tomato uh, mild anxious hypo- hypochondriacal by Dr Neelam Ranjit Patak suggesting rustax 30 very nice by dr meena dry cough sudden onset desire tomato fearful belladonna very nice <laughs> <laughs> interesting <laughs> dr kamlesh ekonai dr anil cpia dr riddhi desh pande merk ad ruber i like to request them that don't go for particular food like to eat like potato see the try to understand the taste which the patient require for example for sweet that is it there are a lot of quality of sweet food is available 
You have to select only the desires, not the multiple food. Just look at the chart now. This is a very simple chart. Totality. Try to write down the totality. First uh, symptom cough with artish thick sticky expectoration sensation as if cough is obstructed in the throat burning heat in the mouth this is a very exciting character of remedy accumulation of tenacious mucus in the throat as if accompanied by fit of suffocation, respiration short, choking sensation, childish nature, quarrelsome, anger suppression, and the remedy. This is the totality. Try to guess the remedy. Dr. Jitesh, hello. Yes, sir. Are you observing the totality? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And thermally? Ambithermal. Yeah. I had one book on the thermals, Water Medica. In which I had mentioned 300 of my degree. Yes, sir. Which I analyzed chili towards chili, hot towards hot, and I'm with her one. This is also. One more very interesting remedy which is going to add in the coronary disease which works in this critical condition. I would like to show you the reports and the response. She had a new Now the test. Normal test. Absolutely fine. There is a report of the CT scan of chest. Are you observing? Dr. Jitesh? Yes, sir. There is a fibrosis also. Yes, sir. In the lower row. Go ahead. Impression. Significant impression. The multiple, multivocal area, peripheral, and sharp ground. Grass of edge in the fourth, upper, right middle and bilateral lower lobe. With CT score. So 
Hello. Rajitesh. Yes, sir. This is a hemogram report. General condition of patient. Next. Sir, I think it's time to reveal the remedy. Very interesting remedy. Yes, anybody would like to suggest what a critical and a crucial condition of this. Now you just see the reports. COVID is negative. Everything is fine. Hello. Yes, sir. But Dr. Deepthi suggesting chamomile 30. Yes, exactly. Remedy name is chamomile. Congratulations. Hello. Yes, sir. <laughs> what exciting report was there. It's fantastic. Everybody had seen the fall off. So there is a lung fibrosis with pneumonia. And within two doses, is recovered. She is a homeopathic doctor and her, her husband is homeopathic pharmacist. So both are from the homeopathic family. Anybody has guessed Chamomila? So as far as uh, Dr. Deepti has only wrote Chamomila. Who is this doctor? Let's see. Surname? Shinde. Oh, she's my student. Okay. <laughs> okay, fine. Congratulations. She had a guard to the National Award of Lipe. Just now, last one back. Very nice. And again, today she has given excellent answer. Dr. Riddhi Deshpande, Chamomila. Dr. Riddhi Deshpande is also my student. She is from Nashik. Congratulations, Dr. Riddhi.
Great. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. And kindly request you to continue your study. Keep faith on homeopathy. Keep faith on your philosophy and medicine. The day will come. Homeopathy will be number one in the world. Waiting for that day. Thank you. Bye bye. So, thank you so much, sir, for such a wonderful session. And yes, these two cases are very difficult, challenging cases for the homeopath as they are having the already having the comorbidity of hypertension and uh, bronchitis, which is already there. So, this kind of patient we usually see, and there are almost 200 cases we have seen for COVID-19 COVID mm -hmm. and uh, it's having excellent result in each and every cases and that those cases are from ICU to from normal with asymptomatic patient from uh, to ICU patients. So mild to moderate and severe each and every cases had got tremendous results with the homeopathy. So try to follow this method this uh, classical way of treating COVID-19 patients with homeopathy. And yes, happy Teacher's Day to everyone. And as we are having teacher like Dr. Amasya Nikam, it's, uh, we are feeling lucky and we are feeling honored to be uh, with him always. And he is supporting us in each and every conditions, whether it will be uh, COVID-19 or swine flu and other many diseases are there. So. Thank you. Thank you so much for such wonderful pay, uh, session. Thank you so much, Dr. Jitesh. Thank you. For, Thank you. Uh, being a good moderator uh, as usual. <laughs> and thank you so much, BJN team. Thank you so much, 360 degree. Uh, and uh, yes, thank you so much, audience, for being patient for more half an hour. So I'll see you all next time. See you soon. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.